a little club I'm in, Southwest Alabama Rail Modelers Club. Basically, it's a round robin club. Kind of, we just kind of meet at each other's houses for meetings. We don't really have a clubhouse or anything. It's been that way for forever. So, and then, but once a year we do have a train show in March usually. And this year it was kind of low turnout due to the virus that's going around. And you're probably more likely to catch a virus at Walmart or a supermarket or something. You were coming to our train show because it was really, really slow. Uh, but the vendors did make a pretty good bit of money from what I hear. Basically the hardcore rail modelers come out and spent money. That was pretty much what we figured. And we had different people from the area, general area, let's say from Florida and Mississippi and stuff there. And one of the first two layouts I'm going to show out here, the first one's going to be Pensacola Rail Models Club from Pensacola. They're in track layout, which will be an in scale layout. Some of you know what I'm talking about when I say in track. Then the second one that's going to come up is going to be their HO scale layout. Now on the in scale layout, watch out, there's a couple of fantasy modules in there with dinosaur scenes and stuff like that. That's pretty interesting. And a couple of UFOs. And then on the HO, they have a sawmill with some sound effects. They also have a packing plant with some sound effects, you know, with the cattle pens and all of that. So enjoy this little clip. These will be two clips of several different videos of different modular layouts that were at the club at the show this weekend. All right, enjoy. <laughs>
Now the next group is going to be the Swarms in scale T track group, and that's the one I'm, I'm on I'm, that I'm in. I'll have a couple of trains run by in there, and the ones that will be in the close ups that I'll show through these clips will be pretty much my locomotive in cars. Now, what we were doing, we started out running that with the DT 400s. You'll see laying kind of on the layout there in one part, but we did switch over to a LNWI that I had brought, and we were using our phones to run the trains. So as I was videotaping this, the, we were using our phones to run the train with the engine driver through these Digitrax LNWIs and a Super Chief. So without any more waste of time, check this video out. Now this next section, folks, are going to be the T-Track Z scale. As Josh Murray had set this up by himself, and he's been at a few shows around, and you may have seen him on Facebook page for the Z scale T-Track. All right, enjoy. This next clip is going to be a two a two rail O scale set with a little bit of automation in it. This guy is from Foley, Alabama. I enjoy. Yeah. 
Two rail O scale. This next little clip's gonna have a little bit of Lego trains on it. It's the Swarm 3 Rail O scale layout that we take around a lot too. All right, enjoy. Well, Hope everyone enjoyed this video. I uh, show a little afternoon. We had a little bit of train fun. And just wait for some more videos coming out. I'm working on another one. It'll be coming out fairly soon. A little issues I've had with them to lay out building. And just like and subscribe is all I can say. And wait for the next video. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.